Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. We are currently in a series on the 12 benefits of cloud computing from Salesforce.com and on the second video. I want to talk about cost. Many times we save money by moving our infrastructure to the cloud. Yes, there's high upfront cost to moving, but I want to encourage a total cost of ownership viewpoint return on investment, if you will. But the total cost of, of our total cost for our server, for our infrastructure, is much higher than we originally view. If we have a TCO thought process, we think of our server costs, our licensing for the software of the server, how about the cost for us to maintain that server, the cost of our data center infrastructure, the utility and electricity costs, or networking costs, all of that adds up. And so when we think of transitioning our environment to the, co to the cloud, whether it's a new application or new software, or if we're thinking about transitioning a current workload to the cloud, this cost, uh, this cost savings may not be upfront because there is that high upfront cost, and it may take us, from a TCO standpoint, four or five years to recoup it. But at the same time, after four or five years, we're gonna be doing very well be in a cloud environment versus having our own. It also, this cost savings allows us to not be so dependent on some of our SMEs. While it's not a direct cost, there is an implicit cost of talent and the ability to put things in the cloud saves that cost, saves that risk. It is not minimal either. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our series and on our YouTube channel and on this video. I want to remind you that to always take a long return on investment, total cost of ownership view. It's much better than looking six months or one year down the line. Please like or share this video, subscribe to our channel, leave me feedback below. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.